Hi everyone, this is Sajin with you from the Doc Training Web Series. Today I'll be covering the web parts for SharePoint and I'm just going to restrict our view to list few web parts because in this feature it's closely associated with information collaboration. Now as you know web parts are small blocks of user interface where you can compose together to build a page or a site. Now for example a news web part or an email web part, a stock web part, sport scores, YouTube videos, etc., etc. These all are examples of little pieces of user interface which you can compose together to get an aggregate view in a portal style application. Now in terms of information collaboration, the web parts are also called as list view web parts. They actually show you the information from a list or library and let you add new items or documents. So in this way, you will be able to create a single page which shows information across the lists and libraries in a site, removing the need for the user to keep navigating to different individual lists and libraries themselves, right? So I'm gonna focus on the list view web parts for today's session, and these web parts will help us interact with list or library data. But along the way, you'll get a general idea of how web parts work in SharePoint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a site page, so let's do it from scratch. So the first thing what you need to do is you need to go to the gear button, go to site contents. All right, now you need to scroll a bit and go to site pages. And now what you need to do is go to the new tab, you need to select on the web part page. Okay, now let's call it right and then let's choose a layout so you have different layouts you can also see an animated version over here so I'm gonna click on full page vertical and the save location has to be side assets right click on the create button all right so now I have web part page basically. So here I now have created the web part page. What I'm gonna do is I need to go ahead and add all the web parts. So now you, as you see there's a big button over here. Now what happens is web part gallery will open up and now this page actually shows you the web parts that is available to be added to the page and these can be broken down into categories as you see on my left hand side. You'll notice that there's a web part for each of the list and libraries in our site. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on documents because you need to have documents and the list, right? That's what I discussed earlier. Here you go, so I have my documents list. Now next I need to add basically the course details. So I have created a list in my SharePoints, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. So just need to do it one more time. At this time, the course is the SharePoint list. All right, so now I have my list as well as my documents. So once, if now anyways, I've, I'm done with the, you know adding the web part, so the next thing what I need to do is I need to click on stop editing. Okay, so now I have my page ready. It says Microsoft courses, I have the list of courses as well as I have the documents, right? So now here I have a single page where I can interact with both my courses as well as my course documents library. Now if you want to add a new document, all you need to do is just drag files from your desktop or your folders directly into this. So you have an area where you can drag your documents. So if you want to add a new document, you can upload it or drag or drop here. So you will have access to the edit control block menus for both the library and the list, right? And you can perform all the main tasks by navigating to the list or to the library itself. So to maintain the web parts once they are on the page, you can put the page into edit mode from the ribbon by clicking on the edit page. I have my documents, right? So. I can open a share or follow easily. Okay, and if you want to delete this web part, you can even do that. You just have to go page, edit page. 
and then select on this web part which you want you can either minimize it or close it or delete it so you can delete it from here basically so let me just go ahead and delete it for now there you go so now I have removed the list and I just I'm, I'm just left with the documents here so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you've learned how to create a page a SharePoint web part list view web parts basically you can create a site page and then add in your list and documents in one place and uh, it's a very easy process I, I'm sure that will come in handy for your uh, future uh, SharePoint requirements so stay tuned to this YouTube channel for more and more updates we'll be coming out more and more videos and tutorials soon so thank you very much and have a great day